So the Kenyan shilling has experienced a very strong surge against the dollar and many Kenyans are wondering why. Personally, I would be more concerned with how is this surge going to benefit us as Kenyans. But let's start off by debunking why this surge has occurred. As a country, we had almost 2 trillion of debt, eurobond included, and they were all maturing this year. So part of what the president did to pay off this debt was to increase Kenyan taxes and also to take more loans in order to finance the matured loans in 2024. Because the problem facing William Ruto or even if it was Ray Laudinga, the problem was always going to be that Uru Kenyatta took multiple loans which all matured within 2024. That's why we saw Ruto getting a 350 billion loan from Japan, another loan from India, another loan from IMF and so on and so forth. So that we could take this lump sum and use it to pay this maturing loan. It's so that we can't handle our loans but our loans were all maturing in 2024 which is why the current president and administration is always blaming Uru Kenyatta. Because if the Uru administration was very kind, they would space out these loans. Let's pay Eurobond in 2024, let's pay something else in 2026, another in 2027, you spread them out. So the fact that they were all bandwagoned together, we had to take all these loans to pay it. We haven't even paid our loans, we've just kicked the can down the road, as one of the economists will put for you shortly in this video. So either way, once we paid our loans, the market had more confidence in the Kenyan shilling and that's why we saw this surge but like I said this is not a permanent fix it's temporary because number one we have not really paid our loan we've just borrowed from elsewhere to pay what we owe someone else so we still have more debts that will mature somewhere down the road and number two if the Kenyan shilling is doing so great against the dollar which is the primary currency for buying crude oil worldwide then we expect to see a great decrease in the cost of fuel and all we are getting is just a reduction of a shilling that is a shame. I want you to just listen into this economist called Joey Jazzy explaining in great detail why the Kenyan shilling is doing well against the dollar and also why we should be seeing at least a 6% reduction on the cost of fuel at the pump. Roll the tip. Went up almost 9% against the dollar within a few days. Why? Because Kenya owed $2 billion euro bond that issued back in 2014. Okay, so I had to pay it back June of 2024. So I had 10 years to raise $2 billion plus the entry, okay? Apparently Kenya wasn't able to do that. That's why it's asking for more money to pay a debt that it owes, okay? That to me is the definition of broke. So let's break down the numbers. 684 million from the IMF. Another 385 million from the Trade Development Bank plus another 88 million from I never heard of this one. African Development Banks, which totals about 1.15 billion. That is not including the 500 million or half a billion that was borrowed from the Trade Development Bank back in November. So in the period of two to three months, Kenya has borrowed over 1.6 billion dollars to pay off a euro bond that was issued 10 years ago. Now, with that added $684 million from the IMF. Af uh, Kenya now stands at the third most indebted country in Africa to the IMF, which the IMF is mostly denominated in dollars, mostly backed up by the US anyway. So it's only becoming more dependent on the US dollar at the end of the day. You understand? So basically what Kenya has done is kick the, the can down the road. Going back to what I said about the shilling going against the dollar. It went up almost 9% against the dollar. So I want you to look at the gas prices and you tell me, has the price of gas gone down by 9%? Because oil is paid in dollars. So if the shilling went up 9%, then now it's 9% cheaper to buy oil. So in the next few weeks, we should see oil in Kenya go down by 9% at least by six percent something tells me that's not going to happen but at the end of the day this is going to end up badly it may take a few years but it will end up badly because at some point the imf will not keep on issuing uh, loans if a country can't repay them so there's got to be another approach to this so if leaders such as Chirchir and others are honest with Kenyans, the cost of fuel should go down by more than a shilling. 
Reducing the price of petrol by a shilling, in my opinion, is a con job on the citizens and they need to improve on this figure. But that's just my opinion, guys. Do let me know your own comments in the comment section below. Why do you believe the Kenyan shilling has seen this surge? And also, when will we finally start yielding dividends of the Kenyan shilling doing well against the dollar without being traders? Because I know the traders are doing well. They formed less than 5% of the country. The rest of the 95, we want to see improvement at the pump. A shilling is too little. We know the Kenyan shilling is doing very, very well against the dollar. We would like to see that same, same phenomena taking place at the pump. But either way, guys, that's just my opinion. Do let me know your own comments in the comment section below. I'll do my best to read them and to give you a response. In the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula, hit the subscribe button, and you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. All right, guys, adios. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adiós.